Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Beyond Radiant Serial, and this is back. the first game between MTW and Virtus Pro in the West Qualifier for the Dota 2 International Championship. On the left here, playing the Radiant, we have the favored on the west side, MTW, but they're up against a scary Radiant team, team Virtus Pro. Even though they do, they do have two stand-ins at the moment, they have an extremely scary five-man lineup. This is going to probably be one good game. First ban's already out. MTW banning out Darkseer. Virtuous Pro going for the Lycanthrope ban. Lycanthrope possibly at the moment one of the most overpowered characters in the game. And Darkseer the most annoying character to lane against. With the speed, the Ion Shell. Fair ban. There's the Broodmother ban. Probably coming from Syndrin himself. Hates slaying against the Broodmother. Such an annoying pusher just screws the, the entire game up for that lane. Virtuous Pro banning out the Nature's Prophet. Fair ban. Don't want to have that guy in the play. He's such an amazing pusher. Such a sh strong pusher. He can push so many lanes at once. Makes sense not to give MTW the character. Seeing as how Ten MTW does remaining. have the first pick. Five seconds remaining. MTW's ban turn to ban. What will they ban? Result Probably gonna ban the Invoker, unless Syndrin wants to play it. What else could they? Oh, there's the Queen of Pain. Quick mobile Red character. Let's see what they're gonna do with it. Virtuous Pro banning out the Shen. Okay, so Enchants are still in the game. There's the Invoker pick on MTW. That's probably going to be Syndrin's character going in the mid. Maybe even solo top. We'll see. Virtuous Pro with a double pick. Will they take the Entrances right away or will they leave it for later? Have to do Enchant something. There's the Enchantress Shrek. and the Leshrac. Nice. Radiant team pick. MTW up with the picks. Leshrac with that amazing stun. Enchantress able to start kind of jungle if needed or go for the tri-lane bot or for the dire be the tri-lane top mtw what will they pick band out queen of pain brood mother and dark seer what are they trying to stop with it there's the enigma probably gonna be the jungle enigma with a nice ulti What are they gonna do? So they have one pick left before the ban uh, before Virtus Pro goes for the third pick and then the bans again. Windrunner There's the Windrunner. Oh! So Windrunner Dial probably gonna go solo top, send invoker mid, Enigma jungle. That means they're probably gonna take a babysitter and a hard carry for the bot lane. Would make sense. Maybe um an anti-mage? Anti-mage and someone with a nice AoE for the Enigma ulti. Do already have the Invoker. The Invoker's Ten Meteor War and the Enigma's ulti. It does a good bit of damage. Five seconds remaining. Virtuous Pro probably gonna go for someone Reserve to stun time. the Enigma with his ulti. Already on their bonus time. Who will they pick? Are they going to pick someone that's good to go with Leshrac, like a good double comp? Are they going to go right away for the hard carry? We'll see. Now, with the Windrunners, though, there's the Beastmaster. Probably up to counter off the Enigma with his ulti. It's a nice long range stun. Good for countering off the Enigma's ulti. Beastmaster is probably going to take the solo lane. Bot, yeah, can pull the ancients, stack the ancients, give them a nice big group, and then go and farm up the golden XP that he might be losing. There's the anti mage ban from MTW. Team ban. Are they gonna play Wind One or is the hard carry? Don't really see that happening. Anyway, it's about Beastmaster going solo bot. You usually go take out the tree so you can't get ganked that easier. Then with the axes, stack the ancients. Gives you a nice boost in XP and gold. It's pretty useful. 
there's the lone droid ban from Virtus Pro. Don't want to have their the bear whittling down the Enchantress or the Leshrac. Could get kind of brutal. MT, MTW's last ban. What will they ban? Took out Queen of Pain, the anti mage. Those are both both two really mobile characters. Are they trying to get ban away all the mobile characters so that the Enigma has an easy ult? If Virtus Pro does make this mistake and clump up, what will they ban? Who else is a good Ten seconds escape remaining. hero? Someone with a slow or maybe someone else with a blink? Five seconds remaining. A couple seconds left. Nah, the Storm Spirit. Another nice mobile Dying character. Bad. I see what MTV, MTW is doing. Ta trying to take out all the mo mobility from Virtus Pro. Want to give the Nygma a great chance for his ulti. Doesn't want to let them jump away. Virtus Pro could stack Blink Daggers. But I don't really see that happening on an Enchantress or the Leshrac. Hmm, not sure. Virtuous Pro with the last ban. What will they ban out? They n probably should ban out a hard carry. Vir MTW really needs that hard carry though. Ten seconds remaining. Other than the Enigma, don't have that best Five seconds team remaining. fight capability. MTW really needing someone that can either pop out in a couple more stuns or really do a big amount of group damage. The Enigma with his ulti, which is a nice stun itself. Mm, not sure if they have the damage though for it. Virtuous Pro back on the... Oh, and there's the Shadow Demon. Radiant nice ban, Shadow Demon. Not sure what... What MTW is going to go picking then. Shadow Beard, that's the ganker, the jungler. Well, not the jungler, the ganker that MTW could have easily picked out of the game now. Would have been a nice pick. But MTW probably looking for either a hard carry now or maybe a tide hunter? Ten seconds remaining. No, I don't think it'd be a tide hunter. Probably be more of a sand king. Five seconds remaining. Enigma plus sand king. The epicenter. Oh, there's the Earthshaker. Not a bad choice. Dire team pick. With the chain, chain stun, if done correctly, that's like four, almost five, six seconds of chain stun. Urshaker could be pretty brutal. What, especially once he has the blink dagger. That's one amazingly annoying character to play against. Fisher blink in, stun. Yeah, that's that could work. Ten seconds remaining. Then maybe from. Invoker, a couple sun strikes. Yeah, sounds good. Virtuous pros pick. There's the Lich. A nice pushing hero with the frost armor. Could push the lanes pretty hard. They have Leshrac who can push pretty good. With the Enchantress, those are two big pushers. Plus the Lich, they're just going to try to push through. Not care as much about the team fights with the Enigma Earthshaker against them that'd be tinker. hard. Ooh, a nice Tinker pick. Dying wow. Pick. Well, maybe we will see Tinker go mid. Invoker takes solo top and then a tri-lane or a dual lane Earthshaker Windrunner bot with the Enigma jungle. Wouldn't be that bad. What is Virtuous Pro up to? Are they sending the Lich top? Maybe also go try and go Beastmaster bot Leshrac middle Enchantress top with a bit more of the jungle Five plus a Lich and then remaining. now all they need is either a hard carry or a big stunner. What will they take? They have 45 seconds left. Last pick for Virtuous Pro and then we'll see what's going on. MTW's team. Not quite the tankiest. Do have a really beefy Earthshaker. Oh, the faceless void. There it is. The hard carry for Virtuous Pro. And we're going to jump into the game. 50 seconds. People are trying to choose their characters. What we'll probably see. MTW most definitely having the Syndran on the Invoker. Let's see what we'll have. Virtuous Pro with the two stand-ins. Can they be able to hold up the MTW. Now, this is 
a, wet, a qualifier for the international championship having two stand-ins not sure if that's the best thing possible but we will see now look at virtuous post team do have the big stun from the uh, Beastmaster nice counter to the Enigma plus the Leshrac stun Oh, this is going to be tough for MTW. I'm not sure if they're actually going to be able to hold up. Remaining. British Pro, if they can feed their faceless void, this would actually be pretty good. So, here we are, into the game. Where we have Sindarin on the Invoker, Funcy on the Windrunner. We have fucking Mad on the Enigma. Kebab Prepare is going up with the battle. Earthshaker. And the game's paused. We have, who have we on the Tinker? We have Sock, Sock Shaker. I'm gonna go up here at Dire Team. We have KKY playing Faceless Void. We have Sant on the Beastmaster. Blow Your Brain, who's also standing on the Lich. Scandal on the Leshrac. And NS on the Enchantress. No big surprises there. What do we got? We got them already splitting up. Looks like Faceless Void going middle with the Enchantress. Are we gonna see a dual middle? Wow. And a solo Leshrac top. Is Lich gonna go down there with Beastmaster? Ooh. MTW looks like they're all going bond. Maybe we want the fir quick first blood. Tinker probably gonna try to bait it while the rest of the team comes around. Nice axes from the Beastmaster getting rid of the trees. Enchantress not knowing if she should come down or not. Probably saw the Windrunner right there. 30 seconds to battle. Yeah, I'd let Beastmaster know you should get back, ready to gank. Looks like they're gonna go now, start splitting up. <laughs> Le we got Leshrac all the way up here. Scandal hiding in the trees, in the forest. Doesn't want to get ganked for anything. Enchantress getting ready for the jungle, placing the first wards. And there's a star. We've got Beastmaster, Lich, Bot, Faceless the Void, Mid, begins. Leshrac, Top, and um, Enchantress, Jungle. What do we have for MTW? We have Earthshaker, Top, Syndrome with the Invoker, Mid, Fucking Mad playing the Enigma. Probably gonna start jungling help at the beginning. Syndrome, no, just taking the Lesser Eidolons. Tinker solo bot. Ooh, it's gonna be tough for Tinker. Oh, we do have a double mid. A Lich faceless void. Wow, it's gonna be tough for Syndrin. Going on the X-Sword build. Once to get those. Once to get the Sun Strikes in. Wow. This is gonna be hard for Syndrin. Got Lich up top blocking the creep wave. Don't wanna fight under the tower of Syndrin. Faceless Void, KKY already up to three last hits. Syndra not yet have one. There's the Urshik getting ready with the Fisher. Probably wants to go and hit, stun, maybe even the first blood real quick. There's the Fisher. Is this gonna be first blood? No. Faceless Void jumps out. So close. There's the Sun Strike. Doesn't hit him. Time walking. Ten seconds off cooldown. Wow, we got up here. Looks like the Enchantress is coming down for a gate. No, she decides not. She's going to go top. Who do we have up here? We have Windrunner up here getting ready. There's the gang coming out. Will it be enough? There's the stun and the Leshrac stun and first blood. Nice. First blood going on to the Enchantress. Really nice gang with the stun from the center. Not bad at all. Down here we have Beastmaster, already level 2, Tinker level 3. Tinker doing some good damage to him. Santa running a bit low on life, still has the Tangos up, so it's not that bad. Up to 5 last, his Tinker's already at 8 last hits and 3 denies. What do we have up here? There's a Fisher on the Lich, she's going for the Reg Rune. Grabbed, blocked off by the Fisher, just waiting for the respawn. There's Sindrin! No, he does not decide to fight. Faceless Void, bit more than half life. Has a tango going though. Not bad. What do we have up here? Leshrac. Just trying to uh, deny. 
And Chance is up here, still going through the jungle. Doesn't have any creeps with her at the moment. Probably won't be enough to gank yet. Leshrac. Eight lasted, seven denies. Wow. Windrunner only with seven lasted, four denies. Slasher gonna go one on one against Windru Windrunner. Does have more XP. There's a power shot. Misses though. What do we have in the middle? There's the Fisher and oh, faces void. Times walks past the Fisher. Nice move. Lucky save there. That would have been another kill. Cinder and ignoring the tower, just trying to last hit and harass. What do we have down here? Beastmaster only at 300 life has to start being careful. Tinker could, with a gain, they could probably easily kill. Beastmaster, oh, he has his hawk up. He's going to send his scouting. Up top, looks like there's going to be another gank from Enchantress. Windrunner sees it, runs away. Nice, with the wind run. Nice spotting. Oh, Enchantress decides to go back. Windrunner saw it, though. Doesn't fall for it. There's the slow and the wind run. Will she get stunned? And it is so close. Can Futsi get away? No, the wind run saves her. Wow, and the last hit onto the creep. Nice move. Leshrag Enchantress going back up. Oh, Leshrag decides to wait. Hope she'll come back. Oh, there it is. Funcy saw Leshrak though. Dodges the stun. Scandal. Retreating. Here we're in the middle. Virtuous Pro. Faceless Void. Farming pretty well. Almost has 20 last hits. Only 10 on the Invoker. There's a Sun Strike. Wow, nice hit. On KKY. KKY having to be careful. He's already on low life. Gonna go try to take the last hit. And he gets it. Nice. Up top we have Fun Seat. Just trying to farm. Doesn't want to die again. Paying attention that no one comes down from the middle. Doesn't have anything to scout though. Beastmaster's Hawk scouting in the middle for the rune. Making sure she doesn't get he doesn't get ganked. Ooh, the smoke of deceit. Will, will he gank Enigma on the way? Going bot. Gonna gank the Beastmaster. Beastmaster has to be careful. Enigma getting ready. Tinker just farming, trying to push his lane a bit. There he's going up. There's the stun from the Enigma. Can he wake it away? Oh, it looks like he's going to be able to run away. What do we have up top? Urshaker coming on down. But Beastmaster makes it safely away. They're turning back. Nice gank from Enigma. Unfortunately, not enough. Beastmaster did take a little bit of damage, though, but it wasn't that bad. Faceless Void, still pretty low life. Only has 350 life. But has 26 last hits already. Wow. Up top, Windrunner also with 26 last hits. Nice. Enchantress, not going to get the Illusion Rune. What will she? Yes, she does grab it. Will she go and gank? That's the question. Coming around here. Behind the tower, wants to gank the Windrunner. Le Leshrac coming up. Will the stun hit? There's the net and the stun from Leshrac and the sun strike. Oh, nice kill. Windrunner down. Will Leshrac survive it? Down to 51 life. Oh, eats a tango and a salve. Survives. Nice. Nice gank from Enchantress and nice reaction from the Leshrac. Good stun. Earthshaker coming top. Probably wants to help save his tower. Looking good so far, though. TP coming in from the Windrunner. Windrunner not wanting to lose any XP possible. Chantress back into the jungle. Gonna go to the river. Player just places a ward. Syndran in the mid alone. Lich and Faceless Void. Lich pretty good at babysitting Faceless Void. Faceless Void is already up at 37 last hits. Wow. Windrunner at the top, only with 17. Ability. 
Even Syndrin has more. 22. There's this Fisher and the Time Walk. Wow, nice save from the Vases Void again. He is good at dodging that damage. Down here, we have Beastmaster full life. The Hawk going out, wanting to get ready to sc uh, scout. Tinker just farming up. Tinker's already had 44 last hits and 21 denies. Wow. Talk about someone allowing to farm up. Holy wow. Enigma had 54 last hits from the jungle. Wow. Holy. 55 last hits. Earthshaker with two last hits. Let's see what's going on here. We have one kill from Tinker, one assist by the Enigma, two deaths on the Windrunner. It's one kill for Enchantress, one kill for Leshrag, and one death on the Beastmaster. Who's invisible? Lich is invisible. Going up to gank. Syndrin has to be careful or he will die. Faceless Void just farming up. Lich has to be careful. Too much, too close, and the tower can see him. Syndrin will be able to dodge there. Face of Void running. No, only a slow, but nothing more. Syndrome able to make it easily out of there. Let's see what we got. XP graph. The Radiant really taking the XP graph up. Even though they're behind one kill. They've got the farm. What about the gold graph? You can see down here. Lost. Uh, there's the first blood. But then the two kills really got them back up in the field. No. Oh, up top. Brutal fight going on. Can Windrunner make it out? Oh, the Eidolons. Will they be enough? One last hit. Ten life. Oh, so... So lucky. Lashrak just barely making out of it. Making their... Wow. Lashrak TPing home. Such a close fight. Who got those kills? Lashrak got two of them. And Lich got a kill. Wow. It's one death from the Windrunner. One on the Enigma. And another death on the Earthshaker. It's two to five now. MTW falling behind. Favorite team... For the qualifier, yet playing against a scary lineup from Virtuous Pro. They're going to have to be careful about this one. Faces Ward now up to his 54, 55 last hits. There's the Fisher and the Sunstrike. Time walk away, still safe. 400 life, not even close. There's the teleport. No, canceled the teleport from the Tinker. What do we have? Enchantress. In the jungle, gonna be caught out by the Enigma and the Earthshaker. No, they turn around. Decide not to fight. Enigma Earthshaker still in the jungle, maybe looking for her. There's <laughs> got an illusion scaring off the Earthshaker. And as still in the jungle, not sure what he wants to do. Against an Earthshaker and an Enigma, that'd be probably an easy kill for the Enigma and Earthshaker. Being bit pretty brave, taking the courier into the Radiant Jungle. There's Syndrid coming down. And the Tinker. Oh, Enchantress. Wow, will she be able to make it out? There's the other one. Sunstrike, Fisher, and down. Nice kill for Syndrin. For the Invoker. Up top. Leshrak finally pushing the tower. There's the Glyph of Fortification. Leshrak decides to turn around. Will he push the tower? No. Yeah, he's pushing a little bit. Not that much. Down bot, we have Enigma and Syndrome getting ready. Fucking mad. Getting ready to gang Santa. Oh, Sanko, Santa with the Hawk. Gonna go scouting out. We'll see the other two. There's Syndra coming around. Invoker, what would he do? Nothing. He just runs away. No one's there to help him. Santa takes an auto hit to the back of the head. Nothing impressive. Fancy just farming. Already at 32 last hits. Enigma at 71. Has the headdress and the buckler. Doesn't have the blink dagger yet. Probably still saving up for the blink dagger. We got Beastmaster. Does have the tranquility boots and the sage mask. Not that much yet. Only has 15 last hits. He's pretty hard. Wow, look at this. Look at the ancients. Nice pull from the Beastmaster, really clumping them up. Wow, once he gets all those last hits. There's the ulti on Syndrin. Syndrin taking a lot of damage from Enchantress. And the Sunstrike on Enchantress. Syndrin goes down, and Enchantress survives. Wow, nice gank 
from Lich and Enchantress. Perfect stun from the Beastmaster. Double Fucking man is funzy there. Here comes the teleport from Tinker. Tinker goes, attacks the stun from. Oh, power shot from Windrunner. Leshrax in the fight. Tinker attacks again. Santa almost dead. Fucking mad. Auto hits. Enchantress down. Nice move. Faces forward retreating. Wanted to help, but no chance. Leshrac retreating with slow life, and so is Santa. TP coming in from and Tinker. Gonna go push this tower. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. There's the ulti from Tinker. They really want to get rid of this tower before the power shot from Windrunner. Tower's gonna go down. In the mid, we have Faces Void farming again. Already up to 72. There's the cold snap, and the auto hit stunning him slowly. Just a little harassed. Nothing impressive. Simran already up to 38 last hits. Not 39. Not as much as Faceless Void, but Faceless Void does not have as much as the Enigma. Enigma already at 81 last hits. Tinker porting himself around. With the 74 last, it's 24 denies. Decides to port away. Sinran just farming. Virtuous Pro KKY farming with the faces. Void just getting that farm. Needs to be ready to carry the game in if they get to the late game. MTW are going to have a hard time late game. Team fight wise, probably a bit better than Virtuous Pro. But as soon as the late game, as soon as faces Void can start owning, it's going to be tough for MTW. You're going to have to. Really watch out for the Faceless Void. Enigma now up with the Mechazon. And the Soul Ring and Power Tread. Still doesn't have the Blink Dagger. Not sure what he's waiting for. Wanted to get the Mechazon first. Here's the Tinker up here. There's the Rocket onto uh, Faceless Void. Faceless Void down at Half-Life already. Pushing the middle tower. Faceless Void staying once to... Once to deny that tower. This is a Sun Strike. Faces Void taking damage. He has to retreat. 300 life left. Still wants to deny the tower though. Up top we have Enchantress trying to gank the uh, Windrunner. Windrunner paying attention though. Funcy not going to die again. Mid tower going down. Will the deny come? Try to not deny from Lich but not able to. Fucking mad Enigma taking that last hit. There's the pull from Beastmaster, pulling out those legendary mobs, wants to get them to stack. Or is he going for the P? Pretty nice, yeah he's going for the P, wants that gold, wants the P. Taking a bit of damage, nothing too brutal though. Back up, farms a bit more, goes for the Ancients again. They are almost dead. There's a nice bit of gold already. We'll give up here. Four of MTW up at the top. Probably going to push the top tower now. That's the last two tier one tower up for grabs. Tinker in the middle. Oh, and the ulti from Faces Void. Tinker makes it out alive though. Wow. What a wasted ulti. KKY probably feeling kind of stupid at the moment. Ouch. There's a rocket on the Leshrac. Leshrac only taking a bit of damage. Top tower being pushed down to 300 life. 200 life. No chance to stop that kill. Fucking mad takes the tower last hit again. And they're all, all ancients are down. Beastmaster took a lot of damage from the ancients though. MTW with five now at the top. All five of them at the top. Probably gonna go push the top tier two tower right away. Or they're just trying to bait a team fight. We got there's an the ulti from Tinker trying to take down the tower. Just do a little tiny bit to the damage to the tower and take down the ads. Oh, there's the smoke of deceit from Virtuous Pro. They're gonna come up and gank this. Smoke goes out. There's the ulti from Beastmaster Sunstrike. Power shot. Nice. Virtuous Pro really taking a lot of damage. There's the Earthshaker stun. Rocket's almost able to kill out Leshrag. Leshrag and Enchantress still survive. Running away. Power shot misses both. Enchantress heals herself up with Enchant. No, with the nature's attendance. In the middle, faces Void's pushing. Trying to farm up. Tinker porting himself away. 
back to the base. Enchantress just trying to stay once to deny the tower if possible. There's the power shot and they retreat. The creep wave from Virtuous Pro is pretty low life. Enchantress, is she going to go around and gank by herself? Just trying to do some damage with three heroes versus one. She needs help. Here we have Blow Your Brain coming with the Lich. And Scandal coming with Leshrac. Will they be able to stop it? The tower is being pushed and it's gone. Winrar are able to take out the last hit. Enchantress with the rocket fish, her power shot. Sunstrike misses, cold snap. Heals herself though with the nature's attendance. Luckily making it out of there. She was pretty low life for a short amount of time. There's a rockets on the scandal. Not doing that much. Tinker ulti just taking out the melee creeps. Nothing special. Faceless Void trying to run out. Gets bashed by Roshan. There's the Fisher. 6-5. Four seconds left on Time Warp. Can he make it out? There's a stun from Funzy. No, Faceless Void decides. Still runs and does make it out. Beastmaster getting ready to help. Didn't need to though. Middle Tower being pushed a bit. MTW, do they want it or they're just gonna try to force a team fight? Virtus Pro getting ready, already setting up. They're ready. There's the ulti from front faces void. The stun from Funzy. Nice. The ulti stun from Bur Beastmaster. The ulti from Lishrak. From Lich doing a lot of damage. Tinker's ulti coming in. Killing it off. Syndrin going auto hitting Beastmaster. Beastmaster retreating though. There's one kill losing the wind runner, but therefore killing three of Virtus Pro. Wow, MCW really making it back in. Pushing hard. Santa's trying to get rid of the Eidolons. There's the ulti from Tinker again trying to push down the tower. Vir Virtuous Pro Santa and Blow Your Brain want to get out, want to get the last hit. Deny the tower if possible. There's the Fisher from Earthshaker. Stun Santa. Gives them time to wheedle down the tower. They want that last hit. They want to kill the tower. And the Lich auto hit. Not able to deny. Invoker Syndrin takes the last hit. Nice. That's a tier 2 tower in the middle, gone. Tier 1 tower up in the bot, gone. And tier 1 and tier 2 gone up top. While Virtuous Pro only has a tier 1 tower down from MTV at the, uh, at the top. There's Tinker. Ports himself down to the bot. Uses his ult. He decides to port away again, though. Syndrome, Kebop, and Funsy. And fucking Matt all in the bot. Want that tier 2 tower. They know they have to push and win quick before... Faces Void starts pawning and hurting really bad. They don't have the hard carry potential, the end game potential that Virtuous Pro does. NS coming, wants to save the tower if possible. There's Santa, the ulti on the Eidolon creeps. They're trying to kill off the Eidolon on creeps. The Fisher from Earthshaker going on. Uh, auto hits from fucking Matt and the power shot kills off. Fun C Windrunner killing off the Enchantress, nice. And Leshrac died during that fight. Here's the port from Tinker on the rocket. Ooh, Lich taking a lot of damage. Ulti from Tinker trying to take down this tier 2 tower at the bot. Faceless Void still pushing mid. Tinker gonna stop him in the mid. While the rest of MTW go take down the tower. Beastmaster tried to deny the tower with a greater bore. Wow. That would have been tough. What do we got here? Ooh, Faceless Void coming with the haste up top. Will he be able to get... Will he be able to get Tinker? There's a time warp on Tinker. Tinker uses Force Staff away. Oh, nice damage. Trying to teleport away. Makes it... No! The And the ulti from Faceless Void. Nice. Faceless Void, will it be enough? Looks like it. No! The Force Staff, just enough. Then the time walk. No, Tinker still dies. Funcy tried to save him. No chance. Windrun is away. Wow, that was a close one. Tinker almost being able to make it away. Just barely not being enough, though. Tier, all Tier 1 and Tier 2 towers are down by Virtuous Pro. They have to do something. Start pushing. Win a couple team fights. They're actually losing. They're behind in kills now. 12 kills for MCW. Only 11 for the Virtuous Pro. XP graph really going to the favor of the Radiant of MTW. About 3,500 XP more than Virtus Pro has. Goldwise over 10,000 more for MTW.
with all those tower kills. Wow. What do we have? We have Cinderin Invoker 79 last hits. Windrunner the Tommy the Beast only 64. Sokska 144 last hits with the Tinker. Wow. Fucking Mad Enigma 128 last hits. Not bad. Kebab Earthshake only has 13 last hits, but that's no problem. Then we have four Virtus Pro Enchantress NS only with 48 last hits. Lich only with 21 last hits. Scandal Leshrac with 92. Then Faces Void with 130. He's two people by the MTW have more than the hard carry from Virtus Pro. Ouch. Santa only with 69 last hits. See if Virtus Pro can still win this. It's gonna be tough for them. Looks like Santa trying to pull the Ancients. Either wants to kill them right away or start stacking them again. Yeah, they're four Virtus Pro down here. Yeah, they're gonna go straight away, kill off the Ancients. Just for the extra XP and gold they needed. They needed bad. Beastmaster with the hood, soul ring, tranquility boots, and vitality booster. Enchantress only with a wand, power treads, bracers, and some smoke. Leshrac. 24 minutes and already has a bloodstone. That's nice. Bloodstone wand, two TPs, and the shoes. There's a smoke of deceit. On to Virtus Pro. What are they gonna do? They're just running through the jungle. Probably gonna go top gank. Tinker. Ooh, if they can make it. Time's running out. They have to hurry. Tinker already knows what's going on. Ports himself away though. Doesn't want to get ganked. Just barely makes it out in time though. Nice. Faceless Void. Already has a Battle Fury, Power Treads, Wand, and a Quelling Blade. Battle Fury, that's pretty harsh. He can start wrecking already a little bit with it. Fucking mad with Enigma still doesn't have a blink dagger. Probably doesn't really want it. It's a perfect item for Enigma, especially with the ulti. But I have not seen one good ulti from Enigma yet. Hasn't been that many team fights yet, but still not sure why he's not going for the blink dagger. Would make sense. Earthshaker already has a blink dagger and the arcane boats. Probably counting on the Earthshaker for the stun. So that fucking mad Enigma can just run in and use his ulti like that. Invoker already has with the Seas of the Vice and Mana Boots, Arcane Boots. Bracer and a Wand. What do we have on Tinker Tinker with a Four Staff Soul Ring? Ult Ultimate Orb, Bottle, and the Boots of Travel. Nice. This is going to be a forced team fight. MTW pushing the Tier 3 Tower of Virtus Pro at the bottom already. Will they force the team fight or not? Doesn't look like it. They're still down there. Versus Pro, not sure if they should go for it or not. Probably gonna lose it if they don't fight all five. They need some good teamwork right here. There's a stun fun winner on Enchantress and the power shot. Enchantress taking a lot of damage. MTW back away though. They don't want to fight under the tower. That'd just be too big of a disadvantage. Tinker up top, just pushing his way through. Cause. Cast his ulti, getting ready to port away again. There's the boost of travel, porting away. Faces Void starting to push middle. Wow, will he actually be able to get the tower finally? There it is, tower going down pretty fast. We're gonna have to do something against it. Cliff of Fortification is up, Faces Void retreating, and Tinker saves the tower with his ulti, with a double ulti even. Virtus Pro starting to push bot again a bit more. Will they be ganked by MTW or will Virtus Pro gank MTW even more? Ooh. There's the Lash Rack. Will he stun Syndrin? No, Syndrin just makes it out. Wow. Enigma starting to jungle up again a bit. Probably going for the pipe as it looks like. Yeah, already has the hood. There's the headdress. Only needs the rece uh, recipe. Then he got the pipe already. Still not even starting to farm up for the blink dagger. Wow. Beastmaster already has the pipe also. Enchantress still only with power treads, wards, a bracer, and a wand. Enchantress really needs something. 
Lich already has the Mekinsan. Wow. Let's see. What do we have up here? You can see Total Gold Dire. 38,000 gold total. Radiant. MTW almost 48,000. Wow. They are so high. Gold Graph is going a bit down though again. So the Dire, they are trying to catch up. They are farming a bit more. But that's only because MTV pushed every lane. They don't have anywhere where they can farm besides the jungle. XP Graph kind of spiky. But still in favor of 4 MTWs by 2,000. Virtuous Pro trying to catch up with XP. Face is forward, even forced the jungle just to keep this farm going. Has almost 200 last hits now, nice. Really on the roll. Tinker also almost with 200, Enigma only with 160, Last Track with 130. Sindarin also has his 105 last hits now, Windrunner almost at 100. Looking good. Beastmaster with 99 last hits. Beastmaster gets stunned. There's the power shot and the Tinker's Rocket. But Beastmaster makes it out. Another Tinker's Rocket going on to the Santa. Santa's still alive though. There's the Tinker ulti. They're going for the tower. Going for the tier 3 tower. The stun from Enigma. Rocket. Ooh, Enchantress going down. Will she die? The power shot going on the tower. Tower down to 900, 870 life. MTW not wanting to go in, not wanting to have to force to fight under the tower. Such a huge disadvantage. Leshrak and Beastmaster deafing it. Lich and Enchantress also coming. There's the lightning from the Leshrak. Just want to get rid of those creep waves as fast as possible. Do not want to have a creep wave up top so that the tower takes too much damage. There's the Hawk from the Beastmaster scouting out, wants to know where the rest of MTW are. But all of MTW are in the bot here. What do we have? Virtuous Pro kind of in the mid. Faceless Void's doing the jungle. That'd be Virtuous Pro only with three people, uh, only with four at the bot. There's the pipe casted from Enigma. Force. Cliff of Fortification. Now used up. Tower taking damage again. The ulti from Tinker. Not sure what it's supposed to be doing damage to. Doesn't look like anything. Power shot from Windrunner taking down the creep wave. There's a TP coming in from Tinker. They're gonna go. It's gonna be now or never. Beastmaster with the axe. There's the ulti on Enigma. Fisher from Earthshaker. The ulti from Lich. And wow, Enigma going down really fast. The ulti from Faceless Void killing off Tinker and Invoker. Funty running away with Windrun. And Earthshaker's turning funny, trying to get away. There's a time walk from Faceless Ford. Will it be enough? Funcy with a nice stun, but the slow from Enchantress. Enchantress ulti the lightning from Le uh, Leshrak. The TP going off. Will it be enough? Will it be quick enough? Oh, barely, but it is. Windrunner getting away nice and safe. Good job. Earthshaker's just able to run it. Just to hike it away, wow. There's a tinker trying to bait them over, and it's working. Tinker pushing top again. Tinker with over 200 last hits already, wow. Faces forward though with more last hits than Tinker. Faces forward already with 219 last hits. He's starting to get fun, he's really getting brutal. Has the BKB, has the Mask of Madness, Battle Fury, the Power Treads, he can really start to hurt. MTW, really nice pushing, getting rid of all the Tier 1 and Tier 2 towers, but not quite able to take out the Tier 3 tower. Virtus Pro, once they start taking out towers, they will be able to get their, get the lead from MTW. XP Graph. Wow, XP Graph completely dropped into Virtuous Pro's favor. Over 4,000, almost 5,000 lead for Virtuous Pro. Wow, they really were able to turn it around. Gold Graph also going down back into Virtuous Pro favor. MTV, MTW still with 6,500 plus. But if Virtuous Pro keep playing like this, they will be able to turn it around. They're pushing bot, MTW pushing bot again. There's a stun from Enigma. 
Forge Spirit and the Eidolon. Trying to attack, take down Beastmaster a little bit. Not quite enough. Pipe's pretty much enough to save him. All five of MTW are bought again. Are they going to try to take out the tower now? Virtus Pro are defing it with two people. There's Santa and MS. Both defing it. Here come the axes. Pipe has been casted. Blocks off the damage. There they are going on the tower. Tower's down to 300 life. The ulti from Beastmaster. Enigma gets four staffed out of there. There's the time walk and the ulti from Faceless Void. Casts his BKB. Doesn't want to get stunned. And the ulti from Enigma. Nice. But the stun from Leshrac stops him. Urshan going for his chain stun. There's the Lich ulti coming in. Killing off Sindarin. Will it be enough to kill off... Yes, it is enough to kill off Windrunner 2. Tinker just barely surviving it. Trying to port himself away. And Leshrac misses his stun. Tinker uses his force staff, gets out of there, but the auto hit from Leshrac is enough. That's a complete kill. The entire team is down from MTW. They have probably lost their lead. 13 kills to 19 kills. Four versus Pro already. Versus Pro going for the Roshan. Beastmaster probably gonna take it. No, Beastmaster doesn't have any room for the for the Aegis of Immortal. Neither does Faceless Void. Probably gonna drop something. Probably gonna give the Faceless Void the Aegis. Needs it the most. Doesn't. Cannot die. No one grabs it. Faceless Void drops an item and then takes it. Gets rid of his wand. Sends it back to the Courier so he can sell it. Now they're pushing mid. Tier 1 tower in the middle goes down. MTV starting to lose their lead really hard. XP now 12,000 plus for the Dire 4 Virtuous Pro. Wow. Here's the gank going on. Face the sword and Beastmaster. There's the ulti and the BKB on Enigma. Enigma being taken down from Virtuous Pro. Wow. Face the sword really destroying him. Funcy. Don't push it. Don't push it. You're going to be ganked. Cinderin in the trees. Funcy stuns off the Faceless Void and the Power Shot. There's the Fisher. But Faceless Void not taking pretty much any damage at all. Wow. There's the Power Shot not doing pretty much any damage. There's the Rockets going on to Faceless Void and Beastmaster. Beastmaster not doing take any damage. Such a tanky character at the moment. Cinderin trying to push. Doesn't want to get gank though there's the ulti from faceless void going on to the invoker invoker taking damage there's the ulti from lich bouncing onto the creeps <coughs> invoker going down here's the ulti from enchantress going on to the earthshaker will earthshaker die will it be enough yes there he goes goes down faceless void does not decide to go for the Windrunner doesn't want to, rather goes for the tower. Will Virtus probably be able to turn it around? It looks like they are doing... Who is it? They're doing so good. Power shot. And the rockets not doing any damage. There's a Tinker old. Not enough though. Tower going down fast. Are they going to try to deny it? They're, they go for the deny and they don't... able, Not able to make it. Beastmaster going down. Ulti onto Enigma. Time walk from Faceless Void. Doing the damage will be enough. Oh, Enigma makes it out safely though. Faceless Void trying to run. There's the stun from Funzy. And the power shot. And the rockets. And Tinker kills him quickly. No Windrunner's power shot is able to take the last hit. Nice. Trying to def the bot tower now. Oh, Shaker and Sindarin. We have in the middle. We have Funzy. Gold Graph now also... Plus 2,000, 4 Virtuous Pro, 14 kills to 22 kills, 4 Virtuous Pro. They have really taken the lead. XP and almost 20,000 plus for Virtuous Pro. Wow, MTW. The fan favorites, the the most, the team that was thought to come out. Actually going to lose to Virtuous Pro. Virtuous Pro, even though they have two stand-ins, with the extremely scary comp that they have, able to win it. It's not over yet. MTW still... In the game, it, as long as Virtus Proto doesn't make an extremely bad mistake, Virtus Pro should win this, though. Almost have the game in the bag. Not quite, but almost. There's a Lich clone just standing there, just scouting in case they run through the jungle. There's Tinker in the middle, starting to push again, doing what he does best. There's the ulties, porting away, doesn't want to get ganked or anything. 
Leshrac up top. Beastmaster and Enchantress ready to gank, but no one else is up top with them. Tinker's down pushing though, but not ready to get ganked. There he's TPing away again. Three of Virtuous Pro up to the top. Are they going to start taking away the tier 2 tower? MTW pushing the top lane. They need to do something. They cannot keep losing team fights. Tower is almost dead. 48. Why didn't Versus Pro deny the tower? Wow. And there's the tower lasted from Enigma. They're going to go. Going on the melee barracks. If they can take out the melee barracks, that would be one amazing lead that they'll have right there. MTW backing away though. Don't want to be forced into the team fight. Virtus Pro defing their barracks. They need to save the barracks. Fonzie probably baiting and standing in there. There! Beastmaster coming, running out. No, it doesn't get baited. There's the cold snap, but decides to run away. Oh, and the rockets. Enchantress down low life. Only has 500 life left. Tinker ulti. What will they do? They're gonna go push the barracks. They need the barracks. Virtus Pro cannot afford to lose it though. Sure, the team fight capability is a lot stronger, but they don't want to lose it. The barracks have be such a disadvantage on the bottom lane. Just there's a stun from Windrun, and the power shot hits both of them. Enchantress trying to scare him off. Empty Double backs off a bit. Would be a four v four. Tinker comes, ports in. There's the ulti from Beastmaster, and the axe is hit three of them. Stun from Leshrac, ulti from Faceless Void, killing off Tinker. Tinker is down. Pipe was casted, but was not enough. And MTW retreat. There goes the axe is on to Earthshaker. Earthshaker just trying to run. He could Fisher all of them, but blinks away. Oh, Cinder and Funcy in a dangerous spot. Will they be caught out? No, they run away. Nice. Good job seeing that. There it goes Faceless Void trying to take the Ancient. Needs the farm already at 280 last hits. Has almost 5,000 gold in his bag. He's ready to buy back whenever needed. Syndrine with Invoker also 2,200 gold. Can buy back whenever needed. And Enigma only 1,400. Not sure if it's going to be enough for the buyback. Enchantress with 2,000 enough. Leshrac, 4,000 gold, also enough for the buyback if they fail a team fight. Lich, only 1,000 gold, oh, that'd be kind of close. And Rinrun, 3,600 gold, also all everybody on both teams ready, except for Earthshaker, ready to buy back if they ever die or fail. Looks like Earthshaker and Syndrome trying to push them in. Don't want to keep losing towers, cannot keep losing team fights or it will be over. 14 kills to 23 kills, Virtus Pro in the lead. Tinker trying just to push the lanes as much as he can. Tell TP's away. Scandal N and S getting ready to gang bot. There's a smoke of deceit from MTW. They're gonna run to the jungle. Will they find anyone? No, NS and Scandal have retreated. Nice move by them. There's the Greater Hawk from Beastmaster trying to find them. Doesn't see them because they're invisible. Will they go for the Roshan? Roshan still needs four minutes till he's back up. Oh, and Windrunner finds them. Not able to stun them. The BKB from Lashrek goes up. Windrunner is down. The ulti from Enigma catches three of them. The stuns from Earthshaker will be enough. Lich ulti out. There's the Void. Uh, faces Void's ulti. Tiny down, Windrunner down, Invoker down, Enigma dies too. Virtus Pro does not lose anyone. Earthshaker TP's out, saving him. Oh, nice. Virtus Pro with a, an extremely good team fight right there, killing off four, not losing any. XP now tw plus 20,000 for Virtus Pro. Gold graph plus 6,000 for Virtus Pro. Not sure what MTW can do. Had a great early game, great pushing capability, but they just weren't able to take out the tier 3 towers. Now with the faceless void, able to push so hard. There's a Fisher from Earthshaker, but TP's away. 
Last track, though, also getting really nice stuns out. Haven't seen that many nice ultis from a name. Only had, as far as I can remember, two really good ultis. Not quite enough. Didn't get the blink. Maybe that was the problem. Was relying on the Earthshaker's blink to stun and then his ulti. Not quite the best. This is stun from Windrunner and Sindrin. Both attacking. There's the ulti from Sindrin. The ulti from Beastmaster and Lashrak's stun. There it goes. Windrunner. Windrunner's down. BKB from Lashrak doing damage to Enigma. Leshrak losing a lot of life, Beastmaster also down a lot of life. There's a cold snap on Faceless Void, Enigma taking damage from the Lich. Time walk from Faceless Void, ulti from Lich. Oh, Lich is ulti doing a lot of damage. M3 die from MTW. Lich is doing it. Can he take out the Enigma? Enigma gets slowed. There's the ulti from Faceless Void, just wants the kill. And all five die from MTW. MTW, no chance. It is over 32 kills for Virtus Pro, only 14 for MTW. The late game, they had no chance at all. Virtus Pro just winning game one right here. Maybe MTW can win the next two games. We'll see. There is the GG. There you have it. Winners of game one for the West qualifier for the Dota 2 International Championship goes to Virtus Pro. We'll see what Game 2 has in store for us, MPW vs. Virtus Pro. My name has been Beyond Serial, and I will see you next time.